we are going to go through and look at the uh, the uh, the wiretaps. We are going to go through them. Uh, we're not going to go through them. We're not going to go through them quite yet. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I am going to sort of give you guys a timeline uh, of events. I'm going to give you guys a simple timeline of events of things that have happened. Um, and again, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. I'm just going by what I've seen and heard. Um, but I think, you know, presenting this timeline, I think will definitely help to paint a broader picture. So what you guys are seeing on your screen right now, <clears throat> and again, this is all public information. This is all open source. Uh, what you are seeing are the two accusers. One is from Miami. One is from Mold one is Moldovian, who is from London. That's where Andrew met her. This is them in an Uber in Romania. So now the first question becomes, if they are, and this is all verified, this is all verified. So if these two women are in an Uber in Romania, that would, that would appear to indicate that they were indeed free to leave the Tate compound at any time. If they were not allowed to leave, if they were truly being trafficked, and again, one of the main elements, one of the main element. One of the main elements of trafficking is, is sexual slavery. Sexual, we know what that means. Slavery, that's involuntary servitude. Involuntary servitude was abolished, obviously, by, <clears throat> by Abraham Lincoln way, way back in the day, effectively ending the Civil War. But slavery is abolished everywhere, gentlemen. It is against the law to own people. You cannot, you cannot own people. You cannot kidnap them. You cannot hold them captive. These women claimed that they were held captive and that they were never allowed to leave. Yet here they are in an Uber in Romania. So if they are in an Uber in Romania, would any fair-minded individual come to the conclusion that they maybe were allowed to leave? Again, guys, I'm going to say this a million times. I wasn't there, so I don't know. It could be a situation where, listen, who knows? Listen, maybe Andrew Tate brainwashed the girls. Maybe, who knows? Maybe... Maybe Andrew Tate is the Uber driver. Maybe Andrew Tate is the Uber driver. Maybe he said, "All right, girls. All right, girls. I'm going to drive you around. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let you out of your cage. I'm going to put you in a car. I'm going to make you guys all up. I'm going to be your Uber driver, and you guys are going to shoot a video of you driving around in an Uber in Romania. This will effectively exonerate me when no. Right? So, unless that's the case, and I think it's pretty obvious that it probably wasn't, one can only reasonably conclude that the women were probably allowed to come and go as they please. Here's another thing. The Moldovan girl from England, she had been at the Tate family compound for quite a while. Between one and two months, nobody knows, but she was there for a while. She's there for a few weeks. She was there before the Miami girl was there. And again, again, she was allowed, dude, she went jogging with the dogs every day. She did grocery shopping for the Tates every day. They said that they were not allowed to leave. They said that they were being held captive. Again, if trafficking, if one of the elements of trafficking means slavery, which means you are not allowed to leave, well, then how, how are they in an Uber in Romania? How was she able to run with the dog's jog every morning and go grocery shopping every day? Now, I mean, is it possible that Andrew said, hey, you know what? Go grocery shopping. I'm going to send one of my guards with you. Yeah, I suppose that's I suppose that's possible, right? Is it possible that he said, "Hey, listen, you can you can jog with my dogs every day, but I'm gonna have a couple of guards on you to make sure you don't run anywhere." Is it possible? Yeah, absolutely. But you have to really ask yourself: Is something that outlandish? Is it likely? I'm not gonna answer that question. I'm going to allow you guys to answer that question. I'm going to allow you guys that I'm going to allow you guys to answer that question in your minds. Because listen, listen, man, I'm not, listen, 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 I'm not here to sway anybody's opinion. I am here to present, I'm here to present the facts. You guys can come to your own conclusions. So here they are in an Uber in Romania. This, this is a TikTok video shot allegedly on the night in question. They're dancing, they're twerking, and, and this is like, guys, this is really, 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 really bad twerking. Like, dude, like, look, man, I'm not trying to make a light of this situation, but the girl in the middle, absolutely. This is like, this is a pathetic. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Wow. She doesn't have enough backside to twerk, number one. But absent, absent all that, absent all that. This, this is the night in question. This is the night that 
Andrew and Tristan Tate were accused of e-parring one of these women. Do these women look like the victims of EPAR? Do these women look like they are being trafficked? Do these women look like they are being sold into sexual slavery? I will allow you to answer that. Do these women look like they're under duress? Do they look like they are in distress? I will let you come to that conclusion. Same night. Same night on the night in question. And here is another fact. Oh, by the way, the Tate brothers weren't home this night. This party happened without the Tate brothers in the house. The Tate brothers were out, well, running game on chicks, doing guy shit, right? So again, this is the night in question. Do these people appear to be under duress? Do they appear, do they appear to be stressed out? Do they look like they're being held against their will? Do they look like they're being trafficked? Do they look like they're being forced to do things they don't want to do? I will let you answer that question for yourself. Again, let's just rewind a little bit. The Tate brothers are being accused of human trafficking, sex trafficking, uh, kidnapping, basically enslaving, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is in the Tate family compound. Does this look like does this look like a home? Does this look like a location in which sex trafficking is occurring? Do these women look like they're doing things under duress? Do these women look like they're being made to do what they're doing? Do they look like they're not enjoying themselves? I will allow you to answer that question for yourself. Same night. Same night. Again, we're shooting TikTok videos. This appears to be, looks like coordinated. This looks coordinated, albeit <laughs> very poorly coordinated nonetheless, but... Let's ask the questions again. Do these women appear to be being forced to do something they don't want to do? Do they appear to being trafficked? Do they appear to be exploited sexually by the Tate brothers? Looks like they're kind of, no, no, wait, you know what? Hold on. You know what? See, there we go. There we go. There we go. See, now there I go, putting my opinion in. My bad, guys. My bad. I'll, I will take the L on that. I'll take the L on that. <clears throat> Human trafficking, sex trafficking, held against our will, held in captivity. Do these women look like they're being held in captivity? Do they look like they're not having fun? I will let you decide for yourself. Same night, same party. Same night, same party. Do these women look like they're being trafficked? Do they look like they're being held against their will? Do they look like they're being captured? Do they look like they're being brainwashed? Do they look like they're having a bad time? Do they look like they're being sexually exploited. I will let you decide on that as well. So <clears throat> now I'm going to show you guys a few pictures. I'm going to show you guys a few pictures <clears throat> uh, that have surfaced <clears throat> after, and again, this is after the, this is after the raid of the Tate compound. This is after the raid of the Tate <clears throat> compound. Whoops. No, that's not it. Oh, this is it right here. Had it right. Oh, okay. This is after the raid. This is after the raid of the, of the Tate compound. This is one of the victims. This is one of the victims of the trafficking. So after the raid, after the raid, it looks like they are in France. Not only are they in France, gentlemen, they're at the they're in the French Riviera, Riviera, one of the most expensive places in the world to live and vacation. We're talking 15, 20, 25,000 dollars a day. A day to have a good time there. Now, let me ask you a question. And again, I'm going to leave this to you. Does this woman look like someone who just got out of a trafficking situation? Does this woman look like she is traumatized about having being trafficked? Does this look like a woman who was just held in captivity at the French Riviera, the Morataglu Country Club? I'll let you decide. Oh, look at this. We're on the beach and being served food. 
They're on the beach being served food. And look, again, I wasn't there, so I don't know. But again, do these look like the activities of women who are traumatized? Do these look like the activities of women who were trafficked? Do these look like the activities of a woman who have just fleed from being in, cap in captivity? I will let you decide. I will let you decide. Oh, look at this. Here's one of the, here's one of the victims now. Here's one of the victims now. Is it possible that she fled to the French Riviera after being trafficked? Of course it's possible. Is it likely? You be the judge. So let's ask the battery of questions again. Does this look like a woman? Does this look like, does this look like a woman who has been recently trafficked? Does this look like a woman who has been recently EPAR? Does this look like a woman who is being sexually exploited? Does this look like a woman? Does this look like a woman who's been ripped off? Because remember, remember, Andrew Tate allegedly stole from these women. Apparently, these women are broke because Andrew Tate stole 50% of their money in some sort of tax fraud accusations. Is, does this appear to be a woman who is short of cash? I'll let you make the decision. Ah, yes, and now we're on a boat. Now we're on a boat. Does this look like a woman who just was e a few days ago? Does this look like a woman? Does this look like a woman who was recently trafficked? Does this look like a woman who fleed to the French Riviera to get out of that circumstance she was in? I'll let you decide. Oh, more pictures on the French Riviera. I don't even, I don't even know how, I, I mean, I can't even pronounce this. Ah, here we are. Here's another one. This is our girl from Miami. This is the American girl from Miami who has accused Andrew Tate of EPAR. Looks like she's in quite a nice uh, Porsche here. And again, again, this is after, this is in the weeks after the raid. Does this look like a woman who is trafficked? Does this look like a woman who just experienced EPAR? I don't know. That Listen, it looks like a really, really nice car. Now, look, look, look. Is it possible? Is it possible that she is just trying to blow off some steam because, you know, she was trafficked and held in captivity? Of course it's possible. Of course it's possible. Is it possible that she said, hey, look, man, look, 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 look. I've just been held against my will. I was e I was trafficked. Let me go to the French Riviera. Let me rent a Porsche or whoever's Porsche. Let me just, let, look, all of that is possible. But is it Likely, I'll let you decide. Oh, here's a really good picture. Here's a really good picture. This woman, again, one of the victims in Piari, driving a Bentley, wearing what looks like a diamond-encrusted AP watch. A diamond-encrusted AP watch. Doesn't look like she's hurting for money too much, you know, just given the fact that Andrew Tate stole all her money, right? But let's go back to the battery of questions. Does this appear to be a woman who is traumatized by having been trafficked? 